Green chili enchilada covered breakfast burrito. Absolutely. We just introduced the Lone Star Pellet Smoker to the Griddle family. We put potatoes, smoked country ribs, and some scrambled eggs in there. This one's fantastic. All right, to get this party started, as you can see here, we got some beautiful cut country style ribs, plenty of fat, very versatile. I thought it'd be a great way to start off our voyage, the maiden voyage with the Lone Star Pellet Smoker. So to do that, I've just got a simple blend. I made it myself. Two parts pepper, one part salt, one part garlic, one part uh, seasoned salt. I call it, call it my Texas blend. Kind of like a basic all-purpose. We just want to season these lightly, liberally, however much you want on there. I want to keep the flavors neutral. And there you go. Let that sit for a minute. And while that's sitting, now we can address the elephant in the room. I'd like to formally introduce you to the new member of the family, the Lone Star Grill Pellet Smoker. Ooh. We have already filmed our walk around, our first thoughts, um, the accessories and all that stuff, but I wanted to get this video out there as soon as possible because I know there's been a lot of anticipation for it because we teased it, plus you guys see it on the back deck. I thought a great way to introduce the this smoker to the griddle community was basically to combine a recipe that uses both. You guys know I love to do that. Long story short, uh, we started the smoking process a long time ago after reaching out to some friends off of uh, YouTube um, on the back end. Um, some I barbecue, had, other bar barbecue channels. Yep, I had some uh, features that I wanted that were almost like non-negotiable and I just wanted to see where that led. Ultimately, the Lone Star's Grill came out unanimous. Um, I reached out to Chris um, and then we ended up working out a deal and I got it for free. Uh, so I just wanna make sure that's very clear. Um, it's gonna be kind of like my prod and joy, my crown jewel for the deck. Uh, very excited about it. Uh, we've already cooked on it several times for other videos. Um, anyways, quick walk around. Um, I got the plancha, of course, because the griddle, that's face down. We can go over this later. I don't want to take your time up today. Got the charcoal basket. I did get the bigger wheels, got the push bar. Obviously you guys can see the logo. Super excited about the fireboard system. So far, I've been insanely impressed with it. Um, and overall, the unit, uh, we probably use it about 10, 15 times now. Um, I, I couldn't be more happier. It holds heat very well, which is something I wanted. The metal on it is extremely thick. If you just open it up really quick, you can see the amount of space. Since the flames come from this side, you're allowed to have so much more cooking area. Two great system. Plus, you can open your damper here and you can have the open fire, which is I fell in love with with my pit boss. So, like I said, we have plenty of videos on this later. I don't want to basically interrupt too much. Um, there's going to be some dedicated videos to this along the way. Other than that, we're just going to let it get up to tip. We're actually going to turn it up a little bit. I like to be ornery. Everybody says 250 or 275. We'll split it in the middle. Uh, we'll let that get up to tip. We'll put our uh, country style ribs on there and let them go. Slide these shells out. Since my fire comes this way, I'm gonna put the fat side towards the fire. All right, let us do a thing for a few hours. In about an hour, come back and check on it. I'm gonna start spritzing with the equal parts apple cider vinegar and apple juice concentrate. It's one of my favorite spritzes. Uh, we're just trying to keep the flavor neutral. We're at the two hour mark. Just want to give you kind of like a sneak peek. Ugh. Man, that lid's heavy. Mm. So you get some nice color. So I'm going to spritz them like this. And flip them. Really like the shelf that pulls in and out. Gives I was a lot just of gonna space. say, that's nice. Yep. So let nice them go for a couple more hours and then uh, when, what I should say is we're letting them go for one more hour, it'll be a three hour mark, then we're going to wrap them, let them sense out the smoker while that's going on and we'll start the rest of the video. Oh. Alright, been moving around a little bit, spritzing them, starting to get tender already, got some beautiful, beautiful color, and let's go to wrap them. Take that spritz, nice heavy coating. That moisture is gonna stay in there. That moisture is gonna stay in that side aluminum foil. It's gonna help steam this the rest of the way. 
So now we're just gonna wrap it really good. I'm gonna get a little bit closer to the flame. I'm gonna rotate it in 30 minutes, just the other way, just for even heating. Remember the heat comes from here and then we're gonna keep it on there for about an hour. Just pulled that pork off and I was gonna show you real quick. Uh, another way to induce a ton of flavor to this recipe. Now we got the open flame cooking. I'm gonna turn my smoker up a little bit. I think maybe 450 might be the max. It's really not gonna matter. I'm gonna close the lid, let this build up with heat because we're gonna prep our vegetables. I'll show you guys a trick. All I'm trying to do is just incorporate a little bit more flavor. The exact recipe that we're making um, is 100% similar to the one we made with the pork carnitas. I'm only gonna smoke them, kind of like char them just a little bit, just to incorporate a little bit more flavor, okay? So, really quick, poblanos. I did this on the griddle and we were able to get a char. So I'm just gonna look for a little bit of flavor, a little bit of char as well. Tomatillos. Yep, I'm not gonna do them all. Uh, maybe a green onion and maybe, uh, ooh, that one's fat some jalapenos this just came from the garden the rest of stuff we'll put on the griddle okay so the trick is is put all on one sheet tray or a cooling rack instead of doing individual pieces set them off to the side just like this and we're just going to check them about every like two to three minutes while some of our vegetables are on that smoker i'm just going to trim up some of these really quick same exact thing this is going to go in the sauce that way, you know, you can determine how much smoke flavor. I know some people are gonna say, well, I don't really like smoky sauce. I'm not necessarily trying to get a ton of smoke. Uh, when you burn pellets that hot and fast, you're not necessarily incorporating a ton of smoke flavor. It's more like a grilled charred flavor. Then what I've done, I have some parboiled potatoes, okay? Barely, barely, barely fork tender. I'm gonna drain the water. And for these, just like anything, when you put inside of a burrito, you're looking for size. You know, you don't want these too, uh, too large. All right, really quickly, our pork is cooling down. I got some of this sauce right here. It's very common in the grocery stores. Um, and the reason why I have it is I'm gonna add a little bit to our tomatillo salsa. Uh, we had this in a, just a recipe that I made in the house. Uh, nothing for video. It's one of my favorites. But after having that pork with the carnitas in it, the salsa was so dang good. We used it for everything. And I had this the other day. I'm like, man, what if you mirror those two flavors together? Hopefully, I got a squirrel chasing another squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> Hopefully, the two mirrored together will work out fine. I've got a, a stainless steel skillet here. I'm gonna start reducing that sauce once we make it. Um, Cause I don't know how thin it's gonna be. So I've got this just in preparation for that. Smoked beef tallow. I thought it'd be a nice addition to the potatoes. Get a nice high heat with it. Get those nice and coated. Come back in with a little bit of uh, all-purpose salt, pepper, garlic, and butter. And let those start frying up. Okay. That's on one zone. Splitting the zones in half. The second zone right here is where we're going to char the rest of the vegetables. The tomatillos. The jalapeno, the green onion. And I'm gonna go and put the garlic down. The garlic probably won't uh, last the whole time because obviously you don't want to burn your garlic. All right, using the dome helps kind of like, uh, helps the process. You guys can see we're getting some beautiful color. I'm gonna keep rotating these, keep an eye on the garlic. You might have to add a little uh, steam, a little water if you need to. And just don't overcook the vegetables that don't need to be overcooked. Don't burn your garlic or anything like that. So now that we have the Lone Star Grill, mm -hmm. we need to show up. We need to do a video on how to make your own smoked beef tallow. I think that'd be a fantastic idea because you know what that means? <laughs> what? I get to cook a lot of beef. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh yeah, you can just absolutely smell it. Mm. Ooh, smells good. Holy, this is gonna be good. It's, like, it, I think it's a little involved, but it is gonna be good. You know, somebody asked me, somebody made a comment, and it was a fair comment. They said, your English muffins look fantastic. I just think that going to the store and buying them, you know, would be as good as well. And the answer is yes. It's not like my English muffins are, right, are going to beat out the world's greatest store-bought English muffin. The difference is... I don't know. They were dang good, honey. They were fresh. I think yeah. makes a huge difference. That's true. I just enjoy cooking. So anytime I have a chance to get outdoors... You know, I can't do this every night of the week or something like that, but typically when we film, you know, I try to go a little bit above and beyond versus just making gringo style tacos where you just brown off ground beef, you know, and you're done. So to me, this is my way to get in my culinary side and just use your outdoor cooking appliances. So you can smoke these uh, country style ribs the day before, let them rest. You know, you can have them for the next morning. Like if you had them for dinner, um, it's a great way to have leftovers. So if you're going to barbecue sauce them, set two to three, four to the side. Um, and that way... To do without muscle. sauce. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh. Look at that snack right there. Look at all that moisture in there. Keeping aluminum foil helps doing that. You got the bones in there for extra flavor as well. That is going to be a midnight snack. As some of these vegetables get done... They're going to get done at different times. I'm just going to start adding them to my blender. So now you're blending that nice char with a little bit of smoky flavor. If you want to uh, take the seeds out, you can. Just for the heat factor, I'm going to take some of them out. we we'll leave some in. I did go, in fact, uh, blend it way more than I did the original one. Remember, this is kind of like a sauce over top of the um, burrito. Rather than a Rather tomatillo than a, salsa. Right. Chunky and all that stuff. Here, let's try it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Then we're going to cut it probably like equal parts with this green enchilada sauce. And I can't stress enough, if you start cooking with skillets on your griddle, you got to make sure that you're, you know, you're very aware of your surroundings. Uh, typically on a stove, your handles don't get that hot. Uh, but on a griddle, they will get hot if you just accidentally move your handle or something like that. Look at these potatoes. That is exactly what I was wanting. That right there. See that crisp on those potatoes? Mm. That's gonna go a long way. You could even do this as like a breakfast bowl. Yeah. You know? Yeah. With the potatoes and the country ribs. All right, little country style ribs are cooled down very nicely. I know I've eaten about. <laughs> I mean, that bite right there might be I've the best I've been snacking. Bite. <laughs> so tender. Mmm. Can't focus, focus, mm. focus, focus. Mm. Mm. <laughs> if you don't have a smoker and you really want to try to do this, you can always throw these in the oven. You can buy pulled pork from the grocery store as long as they don't have the barbecue sauce on it. I'm just rough chopping it because now I'm gonna let some of that fat render and we were looking for kind of like a crisp. God, that thing bite right, oh. 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 Oh, split it with me. Uh-uh. We're going to add the butter and all that pork fat right there. Just pick up a little bit more flavor. Just be careful the way your butter reacts to see how hot your griddle is.
my whole griddle is off, so I'm just allowing those temperatures to come back down and cook those eggs. You can add cheese to this. This is one of the recipes that we decided not to. Maybe a pepper jack or something like that in the scrambled eggs, or you can have it. Ooh, that'd be good. You know, scrambled on the or just shredded on the side. Do a very, very light scramble because we will grill these right there is fine. We are using low carb burrito size tortillas. I don't tell them that, honey. They'll think I'm on a diet. <laughs> See how much crisper that pork's gotten? I just thought the textural components would work very well with this. Since the scrambled eggs are already soft, I just want a little crispy. You thought it would kind of mirror the idea of the carnitas. Yep. Some potatoes, some eggs. Fold your wings in, I call them wings, tips. Come over it, fold it, fold it, and there you go. Put that back on the griddle. I'm gonna make this one exactly the same way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that is flavor boom. If that sauce wasn't so dang spicy, I'd add more of it. That one has got some kick. Yeah, definitely take out the seeds if you don't like spice. Mmm. Mmm. What was that hand motion? You don't get it often. Mmm. <laughs> I know you don't like spicy foods. You gotta try it. I'm telling you, it doesn't calm down, but it complements very, very, very well. Obviously, you can take out the jalapenos. You can add less jalapenos. Just take a good old nasty bite of this. Oh, yeah. Jaw unlocked. Man, this is the way to start the day. The crunchy pork. You know, it wasn't in there that long in the burrito, so I didn't have like a chance to steam or anything like that. Mm. The potatoes come through. I do think you could add some cheese. Mm hmm Maybe it would have helped it hold, hold it together a little bit. Mm. Golly, that crisp on the pork. Like, you really get that. That is good. Well, you keep talking. <laughs> As you finish the whole thing. Oh man, it's good. But I'm a green salsa fan at heart. I love making it, love eating mm. it. And this is right down my alley. Mm. If I knew 17 years ago when I married you, that I'd be standing on my back deck, eating foods like this. I wouldn't have to work as hard. <laughs> All right guys, there you go. I'm gonna finish the rest. She didn't really want the green salsa. Maybe we put on the side. I mean, honestly, when you taste the salt, I, I will take the green sauce now. <laughs> Maybe do one scoop instead of like one coating instead of two coatings. But well, that's I think when you when it. you try it by itself, it's very spicy. But then when you add in like the tortilla and the potatoes and the eggs, it kind of mellows it out. I've been looking for this for a few days, actually about two weeks. I'm so glad we made it. I thought mm. the flavors came well together extremely well. I was so excited to introduce the new pellet smoker to you guys. Um, I just think it's going to be phenomenal food coming off of it. And um, not, that's it. I, I'm lost for word. It's good. Mm. It is fantastic. That's that's why it takes time to do stuff sometimes. You know, is it worth it three or four hours? Could you add sausage instead of pork? Absolutely. But, you know, I don't know. If you guys are interested, we have a join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us out on The Griddle Group on Facebook. We talk about griddles. And we talk about smokers because barbecue is a part of the outdoor family so our griddles and more and more they're getting pushed together and I absolutely love seeing it because i love the food that comes off of it thanks for watching don't forget to press that subscribe button pound the notification button trip with your friends ciao time mm.